What's up guys, Noah from Template FC here and I'm going to be walking you through how the Kit Builder uh, 2.0 soccer template works in Photoshop. Now we only have the front view available right now, but the back and then the full front and back are coming soon. Uh, the full front and back including shorts and socks. Um, but I'm making this video on just the front and it should kind of explain all four of those mockups. So uh, if you're using the full front or back uh, or full back, it all should work the same basically. The shorts and socks will be self-explanatory I think. The only real complex part of this is the jersey. So I'm going to be walking you through how this mock-up works. We're not really going to be designing a kit in this. I'm just going to be showing you what all the layers do, all the groups do, so you have a better understanding of how it works. So let me hop over into Photoshop with this template open. Uh, when you download this, by the way, and you unzip it, uh, you'll get a TIFF file. And to open this in Photoshop, you just have to right click open with and select Photoshop. And that will open it in Photoshop. If you double click, it will not work. So uh, just keep that in mind. I'm sure you guys are used to that now if you use mockups a lot. Um, but when you open it, you'll get something like this. And uh, the reason I'm doing a walkthrough of this is because it's very, it's a lot more complex than our normal mockups. So if you're new to this, it might be a little confusing. Uh, or even if you're not, you might not know how we have this set up. So I just want to explain things uh, as quick as possible to kind of show you how everything works. So if we look over to our layers, we have, uh, what is this, five different groups. And basically the avatar option is the avatar dummy here. So if you hide that, you can see that's what that is. We have the collar options, which is the collar. We have the logo, or add logos here. This is just logos for the chest, by the way. You can see if I hide that, it gets rid of our logos. And uh, this is a separate layer because we didn't want the texture of the jersey to blend in with the logos and look unrealistic and wonky. So we wanted the logos to be isolated so they pop a little more and look more realistic since the logos on actual jerseys don't blend in with the texture of the jersey because they are stitched on or ironed on or whatever. So we wanted them to be separate so it looks a little better. Um, and then we have the base which is just the chest part of the jersey. And then we have the sleeve options, which obviously are the sleeves. So let's start with the avatar options. We actually have a levels here that you can adjust. So if I hide this, you can see the dummy gets a little darker. This kind of brings out some of those highlights. Um, so you can adjust these levels to kind of maybe like chrome it out, like really bring it up um, or like darken it going the other way. It's up to you, but if we open this up, you'll see we have a lot of options. So the head folder in this is all the different collar options because you want to match the uh, avatar option with the collar option so the avatar um, looks correct. You'll notice if I say just hide the collar, the avatar no longer matches up and it looks a little bit wonky. So all these options are used to make the avatar match the jersey. Um, let's hide that and we'll actually hide that whole group for now. We'll come back to that in a second. Then we have the collar options, which are pretty self-explanatory. It's a bunch of different collars that you can come in and edit to modify uh, and get the collar you want. So a lot of these are repeats from the previous kit builder, but from seven on up are all new. So we have the new Adidas, the new Puma, just a new V-neck, a new crew neck, and then the new Nike. So these are all new. Um, we'll actually stick on collar option seven, the new Adidas one, uh, for now. And then we'll go down to the logos. You can see front logos here is just a smart object to add your logos. If we open that up, you'll see it's just logos with a transparent background. So you want to use these logos as a guide to add your own logos. So if you're making a Nike jersey and you add the Nike logo, you want to add that over the Adidas logo, use the Adidas logo as a guide, if you will. And then if you add a team logo, like a Manchester United, a Barcelona, Real Madrid, stuff like that, you would add it over top the Template FC logo, um, which is the team logo. And these actually have some blending options for you to uh, look like actual logos with the texture and the 3D effects. So if you add any logos, be sure to right click copy layer style and paste them to your new ones if you want that same effect. Uh, these layer styles, by the way, are from our patch maker template, 
which is a Photoshop uh, template with a bunch of different layer styles for patches or like jersey logos. Um, and it's free to download. You can get that on our website and use that instead um, or just modify these. It's up to you. Uh, we'll close out of that, keep that saved. Then we go to our base layer and you'll notice we have some different texture options. So if I zoom in on our jersey here, uh, just pay attention to the like open space. You can see this is texture one and then we have a texture two and then we have a texture three. And this third one is the Nike texture from this season um, in case you couldn't tell. And this is the main reason why the logos are separate because we don't want this texture overlapping the logos because it looks really dumb. So that's kind of the main reason for that. Uh, but all these textures look really good. You can see from a distance, don't really notice anything, but it does have an effect. And the base and the sleeves have their own lighting. So you can mix and match the textures for these. So you could say uh, you could use that Nike texture on the sleeves if you want and use the normal uh, lighting texture one on the base if you wanted. So the sleeves have a slightly different texture than the body, which is something uh, manufacturers do. So it's always an option um, or you can just have them all match. Let's go back to light texture one though. Zoom in. Um, so in the designs folder, this is all the designs for the body of the jersey, not the sleeves, just the body. Um, so if I hide that, you can see what that is affecting. And the first two layers here are sleeve extensions. So right now the body is looking very rectangular. Um, if I were to draw a rectangle, you can see it's pretty like, yeah, it's in this space for the most part. But if I hide these sleeve extensions, you can see the top part extends outwards a little further, which is something uh, some jerseys have. So you can use these sleeve extensions to uh, blend in with the sleeves more to make them look longer, or you can keep the shorter sleeves without that. It's up to you. Uh, and then we have the shoulders, uh, shoulder options here, which obviously are the shoulders. Right now they have the uh, Adidas stripes. You could add whatever there. You could hide them if you want. Um, these are actually linked layers though. So if I uh, open one of these shoulder layers, and change the adidas stripe colors to maybe red save that if i come back to the mock-up it will adjust that for both of them so that's just an easier or an easy way to save time um, but if you do want them different so if you want the right different from the left uh, you just have to come in right click and select new smart object via copy do that hide whichever one you just duplicated and then open up this new copy so if I do this and then I make it white, save and come back, that one will now be different because it's on its own smart object um, rather than being linked to the other one. Um, so that's how you do that if you're interested. Uh, let's bring back these sleeve extensions because I think it looks a little better. And then we have the front layer down here, obviously, which is the front design. This is where you would add your patterns or whatever. So if I open this up, um, I'm gonna hide the grid. You can see we have the logos here as a guide in case you're adding like a stripe that you want to be right behind the logos. They're there for a guide, but make sure you have them hidden when you save this. So if we actually go to our patterns pack, uh, our 2021, 2022 patterns pack part two, maybe we add the Adidas grunge pattern from the individual patterns section increase the size of this, press enter, right click, rasterize. And then if we save that, boom, there is our design. And you can see our logos are unaffected and are on their own layer, boom. Then we have the color group, which is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna cover that, uh, but if you need to change these colors, you just double click and you can change them to whatever. Right now you can't see them because all the smart objects are over top, um, but let's go ahead and move on to the sleeves. Um, so now we actually have three sleeve options, including long sleeves and long sleeves with cuffs. So you can hide the short sleeves, add the long sleeves. And you'll notice for the long sleeves, the sleeve extensions look a little weird. They don't blend as well. So keep that in mind, but you can do long sleeve or long sleeve with cuffs. And both the long sleeve layers are linked. So if I 
open up, let me hide that. Uh, if I open up the right sleeve for the long sleeve with cuff and maybe we add a solid color that is red, save that, come back, you'll see the right sleeve is now red. Um, and if I didn't want the cuff sleeve now, I wanted the just normal long sleeve and I switch that over, you can see that still remains the same. So the long sleeves are linked. Now that does not apply to the short sleeve. The short sleeves are its own thing. So um, it won't work with the short sleeves, but the long sleeves are linked, uh, but the cuffs also are on their own layers then too. By the way, you'll see on this long sleeve that the red sleeve, the shadows are looking a little weird. So if you notice any weird shadowing or lighting, you can come into that lighting folder right here and adjust the levels. So Let's see, I actually think the highlights are the problem here. So let's open up the levels on top of the highlights. I'm gonna take this arrow and drag it away. And I think that helped. Let's go to the shadow one as well and drag that one away. And I think that looks a little bit better for our color. And boom, that was simple enough and that looks good. So easy ways to adjust the lighting if anything looks wonky. Now let's say we're happy with this finished jersey. Obviously this is not a finished jersey, but let's say we are. We added our long sleeves, we added our Adidas collar. Now we wanna call it a day and we wanna add the avatar to this. If we bring up the avatar, it does not look too good. So we have to go in there and make some adjustments. So the collar we're using is the Adidas option seven. So let's hide option two flap Go to option seven, make that visible. Now the head looks good. Let's hide that group. Let's go to the sleeve option and go to the long sleeve. There we go. And uh, we could go to the bottom. Uh, you'll notice there's only one bottom option though. Uh, there might be a new one coming eventually, but for right now, you don't really have to do anything with that. And now that looks good. We can zoom out. We could hide the background and save this now and be good to go. So I think that's just about everything covered in this video. If you wanna know how to adjust things like the collars, you can check out our previous kit builder tutorial, uh, which kind of covers the collars a bit more. If you wanna know how to design a jersey, we already have tutorials covering that. Um, this is specifically how this kit builder 2.0 works. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Uh, please leave a like on the video if it did. Subscribe to our channel for more videos and tutorials coming soon. Uh, be sure to check out templatefc.com for more mockups and patterns and things to help you design in Photoshop and other programs like it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.